Hello, my name is uh, Luke Zay, and today we're going to write Tangy Corn Strategy up starring in the future. I uh, have more A uh, and have more A uh, here. Uh. Okay, let's start with a random civilization. As long as it's not one of the civilizations that I recently picked, of course. <clears throat> oh, India! India's gonna be a bit of a, t a tough one, and but, but eh, at least we have nukes. <laughs> so due to the amount of sips in this game, we're gonna need to settle within the confines of turn zero. What's really within our reach here? Okay, we have a France, Sire. Um, and potentially England or China as neighbors. Okay. The first thing we're gonna need to do here is, is well, get up a luxury like extremely quickly. <coughs> I playing, I'm playing on marathon, so oh, the, oh, that my own military units don't get. It's out tech very quickly, you know. Huh? And since I'm in the future, my units aren't gonna get out tech. Duh. Eh. And plus, since it's marathon, it's gonna take an awfully long time to get these Ebola bling. I mean, it's gonna probably take like 200 turns. Turns. 200, 250 turns to get up my own momentum, so we okay, so we have uranium, oil, some hills, maybe a ju jungle, iron, and cotton in range. First thing we really need gonna need to do uh, is have a luxury, and so well, my best bet here is to sell next within a range of the cotton from here I'll still have hills in range and, and also the re but mostly the, the luxury in range I mean there's benefits and disadvantages to starting at this point in history for one thing in it in it yeah. Yeah. I think well you Oh you s who do start right with face the outside You don't start out tech problem here is that since all these three te techs are research you may not need all those all sweet sweet signs you're gonna get here. I mean, we are obviously gonna need, need some infrastructure here, so I'm gonna go into well, Monument and Granary, yeah. Coliseum, I'm a Aqueduct Workshop, we don't need science, so we he may or may not need the great library. I mean, we can rush for it. It's, it's just that we need to steal like a couple of workers here and there. Here. Uh, we can build out the Manhattan Project wide away. <laughs> yeah. I mean... The biggest thing we're gonna need here is is walls and castles out here. Okay, huh? if we review the oh, hills here, we're gonna uh, I have introductions and it's like all across us the world here. Huh? Huh. We might get a war declaration to do to us who to the AI saying as us as militarily weak. 
that's one disadvantage to being on Marathon, you can't turn out the military as, as quickly. And since we're playing as India, being weak with more cities is due to happiness. As liberty might seem the way to, to go, but, but extra happiness in our capital is also another way. Yeah. Yeah. And you call this 30 minutes? Well, it's marathon on here. You might not, not be able to go through this 30 minutes because you're literally trying to set up your capital. <laughs> and this is gonna take a like extremely long time. Now who do I want to want to have an enemy with? The Siamese or the French France still has treasury deficit. Siam I'm also still has a treasury deficit. Come on, oh no, family. Although I'm trying to. Okay, front the front and time he still has any even settled their cities though. Seems risky, but it's this turn. Okay, you gotta play dirty, like extremely dirty. Okay, let's see how this turn goes. Cause I'm. I'm gonna steal like a couple of workers with the sign enemies. Yes, and that's that's all. Well, well I'm gonna do this. Do well, I build a, a torch ring here. Oh my goodness, the Th I think we just pissed off all the Thailanders. <laughs> Oh, the Chinese have also declared war. Whatever shall I do? Okay. We better not lose our one and only infantry unit. Because <laughs> we are gonna need it. it is. Okay. Oh, look. You're bringing out your scouts? What? Oh, that is like... The side China. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, I guess. Hold up, I guess. I. Uh, that turned off that my notification for. Um, messenger app here. I really don't want to intrude into their privacy in this video. <laughs> there we go. Looks like no one's gonna disturb me. Hopefully, <laughs> nothing uh, uh, serious happens while it's. Oh, this, this phone is on. Don't disturb, please. Okay. Yeah, unless China, unless you have like four infantry, you're not gonna uh, take the city. I, mean, I know the city does not have walls, but you gotta at least have something in it here. In here. Due to the sheer amount of production the AI might have, I'm not sure where can I get these, these wonders from. This infrastructure we're trying to build, <clears throat> and plus, Tangy Car and I, I really don't think so, in, to go on marathon. Last time I played on a, a speed like this, it took like hours to get from each era. Era, I can and feel the. But the grace of God, your days are not. Jeez, why does everyone hate me? Jeez. Okay, I'm gonna need four. A fight this unit, so oh, oh, this unit's gonna have a high chance of survival. Okay, do I want to let the AI here or have their glory moment and and, and just let them attack on this turn? Yes, let's let them attack. Maybe it's because I haven't gone them into war. Okay. <sighs> Front, you're my only hope of, of survival. Oh, please accept my wo a bribe here. Okay, what's our victory status? Is here. 
everyone's the same except for China. Hopefully we can get the French into war or with China. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> it... Okay. <laughs> Deli still looking delicious. Oh, come on, bro. I haven't done anything wrong to you. Come on, I need to negotiate peace with everyone, like, immediately. Otherwise, this might end up in disaster. Okay. Well, looks like the AI has lost their only milit- one and only military. Okay, I'm really surprised that the other AIs here didn't decide to declare war on me. Just gotta work this sweet sweet pasture. OMG. Looks like Darius has... Or England has settled their capital. Yeah. Arabia and the Euroguys has declared war on China. It looks like fortune has turned things around, boys. <laughs> yeah, and it's gonna be like a long way toward its mobile tactics. And plus, due to all the improvements from um, fertilizer and chemistry, we might not need the granary. <laughs> eh? Or a workshop, but we can just go straight he towards Earth's artillery straight from the get go. <laughs> oh, I mean, we also have horses, so we can get early cavalry. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see how this war is gonna get. England, I know the sun never sets on Empire, but it may set this time <laughs> due to your her AI naiveness. This. I mean, this is all my business, not yours. Yes, negotiate peace. Come on, and that uh, China, uh, please, I uh, please leave me alone. I mean, can I give any of you open borders here? Minus is England. China has accepted my request, but Siam hasn't and even bothered to try and show me mercy. I mean, I'm not even afraid of the AI, uh, to be honest, since I know that they're really, really naive. <laughs> if the, if, if the, <laughs> I can just literally laugh at them at this. He try me to boy, conquer me. <laughs> England has accepted my trade, guys. Well, good, because as you're not my problem. Siam here is. Okay, I just gotta get my one and only infantry into full health, and then I can continuously steal all some of the AI's workers. Okay. What can I steal from you? Who? Oh. I don't see any... Thing. <laughs> you hold up, I'm gonna I have to drop a quick big save her. Her. Oh no, you're working a quarry. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, too bad. Bad. <laughs> Too bad I'm gonna steal your worker. <laughs> or not. Okay, in order for this war to end quick, I had to at least is kill off one of this uh, Thai's units. It's. 
Okay. I'm gonna fortify. Oh, and you're trying to oh, get one of my units, eh? <laughs> Maybe it's time I play Ring Around the Rosy shall we? <laughs> Just trying to spread out the damage. Uh. Okay, I think the uh, I think I just broke a bit of the Thai AI in here. <laughs> and they're just going ring around the road all over my city and territory. <laughs> I, I think all they want here is just to destroy my, my workers. This deli's looking delicious. This <laughs> buildings are looking more expensive. As ever. <laughs> okay, Thailand now. It oh, that I want. Hey, destroy Bobby. Can we please have peace? I'm really getting tired of this war. <laughs> You still deny my tra- Really? Thailand? And you're- They're losing your military here. Your force is literally dropping down to 140. How naive can you really be? Okay. Let's upgrade the shock value to level 2 here. I don't know if I want to worker bait this Thai infantry. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is gonna try and fight here. Yeah, I'm gonna take little to no risk. It's here. Uh, let's just let's do it. Okay. Yeah. What do I want in my city? I mean, it's literally the end game in here. All these wonders here are not worth it. And plus, Tanky Corner's got our domination. Should I go, go do the same? Or should I prioritize science and work for a you know, science victory? Alright, uh. I mean, in the world, if we're gonna go for domination, we, we might as well uh, work with our uh, poor little infrastructure that we, we have and just straight up work towards production. Well, looks, well, boys, looks like we have a free worker on our hands. Oh, and now you want to oh, negotiate peace. I tried to negotiate peace with you earlier, but you declined. Just why, Thailand? Just why? <laughs> yes, this peace tree sounds good. I would take any peace negotiation. In the event that I it might die from um, AI stupidity, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. This has been an interesting first episode. I tried to steal one of the AI's workers, and yet I broke the Thailand AI. Hopefully, I can get a friendship with the. The AI by turn to but at least one of them. Yes, one of them's favorable. Oh, yeah. Yes. Victory's mine. I have literally two workers. Just. Okay, uh, this video's about to end. And then. Uh, so. Oh. Oh, what is our demographics here? 
by the land here, I can tell who's actually sub up their cities and who hasn't. You know, more civs actually equals more competitors here. here. And that's one of the downsides to this strategy. E, my lo local whole Thai friend. Uh, or Cambodian. Uh, okay! Hey, where are you actually from? Tangy. Uh, or Tang. How do we pronounce it? Name. Oh, and I'm, we're about to get at our first cultural policy. So, well, I might go off camera for, for a bit for, for this episode. No sense. The first three turns are literally significant. <laughs> And thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, uh, thanks guys, bye.